Davis and I'm back to do another video. Well, today's video is going to be about building a stock portfolio. Uh, I'm going to go over three or four basics, but uh, I wanted to welcome back all the subscribers and welcome to the new viewers. And if you're new, please click the subscribe button. Well, I'm going to get into it. <clears throat> um, the stock ticker I have in front of me is called Palantir. Uh, Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. And uh, this is a five-year chart. The stock has only been out since 2020. Uh, so just want to show you the progression it's made. Uh, it peaked at $35 back in January, uh, $35 after it opened in October, and then it kind of settled down. So this is all the news that you hear now. You hear about Palantir, how great a stock it is. Uh, but it really hasn't been that much growth in the stock since uh, February. So it's, it's kind of peaked out at 35. But there's still a lot of value in Palantir technology. So how to win, how to get into a stock like this, you buy on the dip. And we're going to talk about why do you buy on the dip why you don't buy all at one time. Uh, building a portfolio takes a day by day, what we call an activity called dollar cost averaging. So that means if you have $100, you buy $10 a day, you know, until you, you've reached your amount of money that you want to purchase in a stock. So if you, if you have $1,000, you purchase over five days, say, uh, you know, hundred dollars a day. So it dollar cost average your way. Uh, this is on investopedia.com. It says dollar cost averaging is an investment strategy, but your investor divides up the total amount to be invested across a periodic purchase or target asset in effort to reduce the impact of volatility over purchase. So that's what this is talking about. Uh, whenever you buy stock, even if it's not too expensive, like Palantir, you don't want to buy all at one time. So if you take the average of the stock of this price, 35, 24, 20, 25, 21, 26, 28, that's how you want to buy it into these stocks. And hopefully you come out somewhere in between, you know, this $20 and this $35. So that's how you win uh, with dollar cost averaging. I call it weave your way to success. Uh, there's been several times I've made profit just because I did this strategy here, what they call dollar cost uh, averaging. So that is the magic behind investing in stocks, dollar cost averaging. Um, and I can show you that <clears throat> in my portfolio. Now, these are my top stocks. These are ones I made the most money on. And just to show you, uh, Tesla, uh, I invested over several months, uh, $2,000. So I didn't invest just $2,300 in one week or one month or in two months. I invested $500 one month, maybe two months went by, then I invested another $500. And then another month went by and I invested another $500. And pretty soon, you know, I had $2,300 invested. Over time, while this stock weaved up and down, even though I bought at a standard $400 per share, these five shares appreciated to over $17,000. And so these are my biggest positions. If you see Okta, I'd had the same strategy, invested $2,100. I invested $100 here, $100 there. That's when uh, Okta was, you know, $110. I invested $100 there. Every other week, I would invest. And eventually, it gave me over $3,200. And you see, there was a profit of, of $1,000. And so all you want to do is dollar cost average your way to success while investing is you just want to, you want to keep your cost basis low. So what do I mean by cost basis? In this case of Palantir, I've been accumulating shares of Palantir 
over the last two weeks, while the stock is basically under $20. I've been accumulating it somewhere around uh, the last two weeks. I've been accumulating around $21, $20. So that's how you win. You basically find out a entry point on the price, whether it's $20 or whether it's $19 or $18, $18 better. Um, <clears throat> I'm fortunate enough that the stock has been going down over the last week. Uh, if we look at Palantir over the last week, the stock has been uh, falling some, but I'm confident that this stock will rebound to $20 per share or even more. And once it does that, I'll look forward to those $25 per share days. And that'll go back to where you'll see this gap between the cost basis and the market value start to expand. And that's all I did over and over with these stocks is watch how the cost basis, uh, Microsoft is $322, but basically I bought this stock at like $150 per share. And so out of that gap between the cost and the market value, I made profit. And it's the same process over and over. Um, <clears throat> Twilio is the same way over time, dollar cost average my way. And then over time, you make a profit. So that's the secret of building a solid portfolio, dollar cost averaging your way and keep your costs down low. So don't buy the stock like at the peak. For example, Palantir, if you're accumulating shares of Palantir, uh, we don't want you to accumulate the shares at you know, even at $27, it's expensive for this stock. Accumulate the shares at $20, you know, $18, and then watch it ride up. And even a move from $18 to $20 is a 10% move. So even if you can make 10% on your position in Palantir, and one thing that people, uh, you know, say I don't spend enough money, uh, a position could be anywhere from $2,000 uh, to $10,000. I mean, it could be more, but generally people like to see 100 shares. It does not matter where you start because in the end, all we're trying to do is get the profit. So this is just my video on building a solid portfolio and keeping your dollar cost average low and then watching the profits roll in. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and we'll see you on the next video.